All right, so I'm about to hit the road for a week to do a bunch of gigs around the UK and in the south of France. And I'm going to take you guys with me. So right now it is Saturday, the 28th of May. It's 10 a.m. I'm just packing up the final, you know, bits and pieces, ready to hit the road and meet the guys before we set off for the first gig. So the first gig is in the southeast of England in a place called Sittingbourne. We're traveling there today. It's about four and a half hours. Playing a show there tonight, and then we're traveling down to the south of France tomorrow via the Channel Tunnel. That's going to be a long day. There's about 12 hours of driving tomorrow. So before I set off, I thought I'd give you just a quick overview of what's coming on the road with me. So obviously I'm going to be filming as much of this week as I can. That's going to range from different things like travel footage, stuff we film at the hotel when we're out and about, you know, from the gigs as well, all the gear that we're using. There's going to be a ton of footage and it's all going to be compiled into this one video you're currently watching. So one of the most important things I'm going to take is this thing. So this is called a gimbal. So anyone who is into any sort of video or camera work will know what one of these is. When you have a camera on the gimbal, it holds it like this in a cradle and it basically stabilizes the shot. So when I'm walking around filming stuff, this will give me a nice stable image. Obviously, I'm going to be taking my camera. I'm going to be recording the gig, as I said. I'm going to be using this thing here. This is a Tescam DR60D. This is basically an SD card multi-track recorder. So the really cool thing with this is I can literally plug this in anywhere at the show. I can plug mics into this. So what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be taking a feed from our mixer. So you're going to hear our mixer audio with all our microphones and all our instruments. And my camera is also going to capture some ambient noise on the gimbal as well for the drums and such. So I'm going to be mixing that down before this video goes out anyway. But that's what I'm going to be using to capture all the audio. So when you hear the source audio, it's going to sound pretty good because I'm going to be taking a feed straight from the desk. So for the shows, I'm going to be using a really scaled back rig. I'm taking this very small pedal board. This is a Tortec pedal board that my friend PMT helped me up with. It's really small, but it's really reliable. And inside this pedal board is this. So this is all I need for these shows. So I'm using the Line 6 HX Stomp XL and the Blackstar Department 10 dual drive. So the way I'm using this rig is the dual drive is essentially my guitar amp for this. So I've got this set up with a clean and a drive channel. I've got a I think it's a 2x12 American style cab on the cab rig software that's built into this. And I use either the XLR out to the PA system or I use the cab rig out via a DI box that I also carry with me. The main advantage to the DI box is if you're in a venue with any power issues or any kind of interference issues, the DI box kind of helps curb that. The line out on this is sometimes a little bit prone to venue noise if there's bad power. So I always like to carry the DI box just in case. But that's basically my two channel amp. I've got a clean and a drive channel set up there. And then the HX Stomp XL is basically my pedal board. So I've got a couple of different pedals built in uh, from memory. This one is my Clon. That's my King of Tone and a 5 dB boost for leads. And then on the top row, I've got a delay, a chorus. And this one in the top corner is a pitch shifter. So we actually play some tracks in E flat. So rather than having to retune my guitar, I just use the poly capo built into here to detune by a semitone. So yeah, that's a pretty versatile rig that fits into a really small little bag. So guitar wise, I'm taking three guitars on this run. My Schechter Nick Johnston traditional. You guys have seen this one in plenty of videos. This has just proven itself time and time again to be a very dependable guitar on the road. So obviously going away for a week, that's going to definitely be one that comes with me. And the other one I'm taking is my Shergold Masquerader, this lovely black sparkle guitar. Again, very dependable on the road, holds tune well, plays well, sounds great. You know, that's kind of what you need when you're going to be away for an extended period of time. You want guitars that you can rely on. These two guitars are guitars I can definitely rely on. I'm choosing to take two triple single claw guitars. I don't need any humbuckers for this show. Uh, this will give me a little bit more punch. This has got like an overwound telly style bridge pickup. So if I need to get any more gain out, I can use that pickup there. But the majority of these shows, I'm sort of sitting on the neck single coil or the sort of position for single coil. So I don't really need anything with a humbucker for this. While we're in France, we're also doing an acoustic set. So I'm going to be taking my Sigma triple OME. 
This is actually recently restrung with a set of Martin retro strings. These are really cool strings. They're sort of based on the 60s and 70s Martin strings. And they're actually nickel. So they're not actually bronze coated at all. They actually look like electric guitar strings, but they are acoustic strings. They give you that classic 60s acoustic sound. They're really rich and really kind of balanced, which I'm really enjoying. Uh, I've got the 13s on here as well, so a lot of tone and a lot of power in those strings. When you're on the road, it's very important to have the box of essentials as well. So this box comes everywhere with me to every show. This is like my my kit box with everything I need to get through a gig. I've got my iPad where I can pull up any charts I need. A toolkit, always very important. An iPad clamp, so obviously I can clamp my iPad onto my mic stand. Loads of cables, so I've got a couple of different Tortec and Ernie Ball cables in there. I've got a Line 6 G10 wireless system. That's also very useful because we do play a lot of big shows, so it's quite nice to have that freedom without the cable. My vocal mic of choice is the SE V7X. It's actually an instrument mic, but it's got a really nice round low end to it. Always carry lots of batteries because we play on in-ear monitors, so you can never have too many batteries in your kit bag. And I've also got all my essentials in there, like a small bag of my signature Dunlop picks. Always got to have those handy. Plenty of spare strings. I'm currently using the Ernie Ball Ultra Slinkies which are 10 to 48. So I've always got a bunch of those spare as well. We're not using any live amps on stage for these shows. All the guitar and the bass rigs go straight into the PA system, which is basically why my pedal board is my entire rig for this. So I'm actually playing on in-ear monitors. I'm using a wireless in-ear monitor system from LD Systems, which I did a video about a few months ago on the channel. But the in-ears I'm using are these ACS custom molded. Uh, I think I've got the triple driver ones from a company called ACS Audio. These are basically custom molded to my ears. So when I put them in, I get a perfect seal. So I can only hear what's going on in my in-ear mix. So through the PA system we use, we have our own mix as well. So we can have exactly what we want in our ears at all times. One big benefit to using in-ears is basically because you can control your own mix. You're not gonna be sort of blasting yourself with the amp and with the drums. You can set the volume to exactly what you want, keep it as, you know, as low as you need to to preserve your hearing, but still get the right sound. And the other thing I always take on the road with me, and this is a really trivial piece of kit, but it saved me many, many times, is a battery tester. This is a passive battery tester. So basically you just take a battery, put it in, and it'll tell you, obviously you can't see it now, but it'll tell you how much charge that battery has left. This battery is currently low on charge. This has saved me so many times on the road because sometimes you don't have a way of checking batteries. You can check a battery before a show and never be let down. So I always keep that in my case as well. When I'm on the road, I use this mono dual gig bag as well. I think this is the M80. This is a fantastic gig bag. I can fit two guitars into here which makes my life a lot easier because I can just carry one case then. So both my guitars will nicely fit into this case. One in the top compartment and one in the bottom compartment. And then I just have one gig bag to worry about instead of. The good thing with the mono cases is that they're very, very sturdy as well. So I can take this on the, you know, out on the road in the van and I'm not going to be worried about it getting beaten up and damaging my guitars. I trust this case to look after my instruments. So yeah, it's a great case. You should check out mono cases if you haven't already done so. The only drawback is that when you have two guitars in there, it's quite heavy. I can't forget this. We're going overseas, so I need my passport. So yeah, I'm going to hit the road now. That's me pretty much packed. Um, I'm going to meet the rest of the guys. We're going to get in the van and we're going to head to the first show. So see you guys there. All right, first stop. Two hours into the journey, and I've been asking people on Instagram what they want to see on the trip, and a lot of people have specified food posts, so here's what I'm eating today. You can't really see it because it's very bright. 
It's a vegan hoisin duck wrap for anyone who's interested from the service station. And it costs a lot of money. So I'm going to do the next two hours drive now and be upset about how much I just paid for lunch. So see you guys then. That's the safest step in the world. I can't wait to load the gear up this. What a nice place. All right, gig number one in Kent. What a lovely venue, it's in the middle of the woods. The lighting is all over the place because I'm in and outdoors, but yeah, here we go. You working hard, boys? Hardly working. It is 5.23 and it's the second day. Um, we're at the Travel Lodge in Dover. So we got to the hotel at 27 minutes past two and less than three hours later, I'm up and ready to go. So now we're going to get the van. Um, we're going to go on the Channel Tunnel over to France. But here is my hotel room view. And there's the van. So yeah, I've got to go get my car. Uh, I've got to go meet the van. I'm leaving my car in a place called Folkestone, which is the next town over. I'm getting in the van and we're going to France. And then I'm going to pick my car up next week at some point. So let's go. So now we're heading under the sea. We're on the Euro Tunnel, which is essentially just a big train that we've driven the van onto, and we're going to be here now for the next half hour. So, next stop, France.
So it's our day off today and I've come for a walk around the house where we're staying. So yeah, I'm in the middle of the French countryside. It is boiling hot. Um, just walking through all these really lovely country fields and vineyards and met some animals as well, which is always, uh, always fun for a day off. Met some goats, uh, some horses, some dogs. So yeah, all good fun. We're apparently off in search of flamingos now. So the guys are a little bit ahead of me. I've fallen behind to do some camera stuff, but yeah, what a great place. We're just walking through these vineyards, literally nothing for miles and miles. So yeah, we're going to hopefully find some flamingos and then we're going to go check out the venue, which we're playing in tomorrow. So yeah, if the weather's anything like this, it's going to be a nice day tomorrow. But yeah, we're all very tired today. It was uh, 19 hours on the road yesterday. So yeah, that was a long day. We left the hotel in Dover at 5.30 a.m. And we got to our Airbnb here in the south of France at midnight. So yeah, it's a long day. So we're just kind of chilling today and yeah, looking for animals. Okay, so I didn't find any flamingos. Uh, we spoke to some guy and he told us there's flamingos. <laughs> we didn't find any. Um, I'm actually on my own now. The boys abandoned me. They uh, wanted to go back to the house for some more beers. So I decided to carry on walking and it is absolutely roasting. I think it's like 26, 27 degrees. And obviously, you know, I'm out literally in the, in the open. You know, there's... There's not really much around here. We're very south in France. We're not far from Montpellier. We're actually staying in, I guess you could call it a village. It's basically those few houses you see behind me there. Um, one of those is an Airbnb that we've booked, which is basically like a four bedroom house. Um, but yeah, everything else up there is, there's like four or five other houses and that's it. Um, so yeah, we're very rural. I think our nearest town is like, 20 minute drive so yeah it's quite nice it's peaceful um i'm quite enjoying just walking around you know in the quiet i mean if you listen to that that's pretty peaceful there's no cars there's no noise and obviously i spent all day yesterday in a van so it's quite nice to get out stretch my legs and just enjoy some quiet because it was quite quite loud in the van <laughs> we're uh we have a good laugh together me and these guys so yeah it, it gets a bit rowdy in the van sometimes so sometimes it's nice to just come out and listen to nothing
candlelight You and me And a bottle of wine Hold you in your arms Well, you know That I'm going away How I wish I wish you weren't so Take this wine And drink with me Let's delay our misery Save tonight Fight to break our dawn, come tomorrow Tomorrow I'll be gone, save tonight Fight to break our dawn, come tomorrow Tomorrow I'll be gone Time flies by in the yellow and green Stick around and you'll see what I mean There's a mountain top that I'm dreaming of If you need me, you'll know where I'll be I'll be like a shotgun underneath the hot sun Feeling like a someone But I won't hesitate No more, no more It cannot be I'm yours Yeah, yeah Is coming. The land is dark and the moon is the only light we see. No, I won't hesitate. No more, no more. I won't be afraid. No, I won't be afraid. Just as long as you stand, stand by me. Your way to be. It's why it never work You'd have me suicidal Suicidal when the saints over Love will bleed it out Let's hope for some Though we need it now I belong with you, you belong with me Perfect ten 
I wanna get in Can I get out so I can win? I like the way you work it No diggity You gotta bag it up Bag it up I like the way you work it Sing it no diggity I like the way you work it No diggity No diggity I like the way you work it Sing it no Thursday, we made it home. Uh, I'm now in a travel lodge in Stansted, just outside the airport. This time, 24 hours ago, I was in the south of France, and now I'm just outside an airport in England. And this is my hotel view. Not as nice as the south of France, I'm sure you'll agree. But yes, one more show, and then I'm going home. So from here, I've got a four hour drive to a place called Billingham, which is just outside Middlesbrough in the north of England. It's about four hours from where I am. And then for me tomorrow, it's a six hour drive home. So I've got one more overnight stay and then I have uh, a six hour drive home. I'm assuming that my hotel tonight is somewhere on the road. I hope it is because I don't really want to do a six hour drive in one go. So hopefully I get to drive a little bit tonight and then do a, a smaller drive tomorrow. But yeah, I'm in a, I'm in a travel lodge now, which is not as nice as the place we have been staying for the last week, but this is 
this is pretty much where musicians live when they're on the road. These kind of service station hotels. I mean, I've stayed in so many of these. I pretty much know the staff that work in each one now. But yeah, that's where that's where I am today. And I'm probably going to be in another one of these tonight somewhere else in the country. The thing is, they all look the same. So when you're on tour, sometimes you really kind of forget where you are because you literally wake up and every one of these rooms looks the same. They're all the same color. They've got the same stuff in. So it can be a little bit tiring, but you know, that's all part of the job. So yeah, it's a bit of a contract being here compared to yesterday in the South of France. But as I said, one more gig. Um, I'm actually with a different band tonight. Same pool of musicians. So the gigs I've been doing are for an agency that I know and the guys that I was in France with have gone off to separate gigs. So I'm here on my own now and I'm going to drive all the gear, which is in the van up north, meet another band, do a show there and then go home. They have actually added another show onto my week, which is Saturday, but I'm not going to include that because it's 25 minutes drive from my house and I actually get to go home for a day and a half first. So I don't really count that as being part of the same run. That's just a separate gig. So yeah, I'm going to hit the road now and one more show to go. So yeah, there we go. That is the end of our week together on the road. I'm in my final travel lodge room now. As you can see, I'm in a place called Warrington, which is just outside Manchester. Now, 
I'm going to go get in that green van right there. And I'm going to drive three and a half hours home. And I'm going to chill out for a day. I do have another gig tomorrow, but, you know, this is the last of the nights that I'm away from home. So I've officially been away for a week now. We covered a lot of miles. Um, I don't know the exact number, but I'll put it on the screen somewhere. It's in the thousands. We've done a lot of mileage this week. Probably something in the region of 40 plus hours driving across six days. Um, three full shows, an acoustic show, and a show at a wedding ceremony. So yeah, it's been busy. I'm very tired. I'm looking forward to getting home, not living out of a suitcase for a day. Um, and yeah, thank you guys for coming on the road with me for a week. I hope you've enjoyed. I hope there's been plenty of cool stuff on there uh, that you've learned or enjoyed or things you've seen. And yeah, thank you for all the recommendations about things you wanted to see on this trip as well. Hopefully I managed to cover most of them for you guys. Let me know down below in the comments how you enjoyed our week together on the road. And I'll see you very, very soon. Thanks for watching.